All right, folks, here it is. It is truly the best of both worlds. This is the 2023 Keystone Montana High Country 377 FL. And why do I say it's the best of both worlds? Well, first off, of course, the FL is the fact you have a front living, so you have a great space for adults. But what you'll see in just a second is we have a lofted space in the back with beds for kids. So if you're looking for a great alternative to your classic rear bunkhouse fifth wheels for kids, this is one that you have to watch. So you have sofas on both sides. You have the dual opposing slide outs here, tri-fold sofas. Both of these fold out into beds. You can sleep up to eight people in here because you can have two on each bed plus two in the back, a couple more up top. Again, we'll get to that in a second, but I love the fact that you can have overnight guests if you so choose. And of course, it is just super comfortable furniture to begin with, and this is a great entertainment space. If you're one who likes to entertain guests, it's tough to be a front living or a rear den floor plan, which is a rear den is basically the same thing, but in the back of the RV. Uh, and of course, you get the theater seats right here. You know, you have to have the best seat in the house. We do at home, why wouldn't we? Why while we're on the road in our you know vacation home right which essentially is what this is so you have power theater seating right here with a straight shot to the 50 inch tv uh, these are powered usb ports in here you can see the removable cup holder and as i mentioned you get that 50 inch retractable tv so if you want to drop this down you can that way you just have the windshield which you know is a great look uh, brings in a lot of natural light too during the day but again if you don't want it they just want to have conversation great if you want to pop it up watch the game you know you have the uh, uh, speakers here it really gives you kind of that uh, that home theater setup feeling you will also see the fireplace right down underneath which not only looks great but also helps kind of take the chill out of the air storage on both sides and we have roller shades all the way around including on that front windshield behind the tv uh, the roller shades are absolutely fantastic you can see them right here just pull down and of course those are essentially going to be blackout shades now, if you want to keep things cool, you have the Blade AC system that is paired with the Coleman Mach AC units. The thing I love about this, folks, this is a residential AC filter. That is something that really hasn't been done in the industry before. Most people don't even know that you have to clean your filter in the AC unit. But with this, you can literally just take it out, replace it with a brand new one. Love, love, love that. And because it's the Blade AC system, not only do you have control of how much airflow you want by turning this, but it's also 360 degree. So it is more even cooling and it's 30% quieter. So it is one of the best AC systems in the industry right now. As we take a step down, you can see courtesy lights. These are motion sensors. So that way, you know, if it's nighttime, you're walking down. If you have a guest and need to walk down and use the bathroom, they're not going to trip over the steps and hurt themselves. Built into that stair is your central vac system as well. So you can vac everything out in here. Of course, have completely eliminated all carpet. Take a step on down into the kitchen. You can see the bar top. I love this. For me, folks, I generally eat at the bar at home. I'm not a huge table guy. You know, once in a while, sure, the family will get around. We'll all have a great meal, especially during holidays. But if it's just my wife and I, this is what I want right here. It's just sitting right here, eating at the bar, nice and simple. I know the kids, that's where they generally eat too. So I do like that they were able to put that in the RV. If we come right around, we can take a look at all the storage right here. I mean, talk about great storage, right? All the way throughout, uh, just a ton of additional storage. Control panel is right here, and you know, it's lit up like a Christmas tree, but it is nice just to kind of show you, you know, everything that uh, is on, uh, but everything you need is right there, including your tank heaters, by the way. This one is four season capable, thanks to those tank heaters. Uh, well, on top of that, you also have battery heat because this one has the lithium batteries on there. So if you plan on doing some cold weather camping, this is a great coach to be able to do it in because the tank heaters, it's also fully insulated underbelly and heated underbelly. Plus they even insulate and heat your valves, which is a big deal when you're talking about camping during winter months. Now, as we start to kind of move a little bit further into the kitchen, take a look at the size of that refrigerator, folks. I believe this is 18 cubic foot on this one. It's a Dometic unit. Um, this one runs off both propane and electric, so it is an RV style fridge, which you know a lot of people do like that. You kind of have the alternative fuel source with the propane there in the event that you need it. Freestanding table and chairs. There is a leaf you can pull out so you get that extra extension, get a little more space. Uh, it does come with the four chairs, so again, 
If you have uh, you know, the kids or guests, whatever it may be, grandkids, you have a spot for them to sit down, eat a meal together, play a game together, huge windows, just letting in all that natural light. And then as we scoot over into the rest of the kitchen, take a look at this beautiful U-shaped kitchen and all the space you have. Prep space galore, true solid surface countertops as you would expect. It's underlit and it's not like a bad, you know, super bright neon blue like a lot of RV use, uh, RVs use. It's just a nice clean blue color. Uh, you got all the storage up top. I mean, a ton of overhead storage in here. Great storage down underneath in the form of drawers, plus additional storage right here underneath the sink, including a spot for your sink top covers because it does come with them. And speaking of the sink, it's another thing I love about Montana. Take a look at the size of the sink. This is a 70-30 bowl. I mean, this 70 bowl over here is big enough just to stand on its own, but the fact you kind of got like the little rinse sink over here, I really, really dig that. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you can even put that cover on right here and use this as prep space as well. So you have all this for prep and then any water, you can just use a little sink there. Uh, just works really well. Uh, I love the backsplash on here too. Very decorative, kind of modern, bringing in a little bit of that modern flair. Uh, and then you have the knife rack, the magnetic knife rack hanging out up there, of course. Uh, electrical outlet for anything else you need to run. Microwave. And then the residential looking three burner cooktop here. I do like this one. It's by Furion. Uh, you kind of have, um, you know, the, the kind of upgraded again, like residential grate and you have a large oven underneath so you can actually do some baking right how often are you in an rv and your oven space is this big and you can't fit anything more than a small casserole dish in there or a pie in here you can definitely have some extra space and you have a little bit of storage underneath there as well not super deep but it does give you a little bit of uh, just a little addition Right over to the side, you'll see the max air fan control because there is a max air fan right up there on the ceiling. You know, outside of the Blade AC system, you do have that system to really get some good airflow plus a ceiling fan. And then this is the control for your AC. Come on back into the bathroom. And I promise folks, we're getting to the, getting to the loft in just a bit so you can check out the kids space, but I just kind of want to make our way back there. Uh, the bathroom, I have plenty of space for my legs as well as my shoulders, porcelain bowl here. Great big countertop, plenty of space, excellent storage. I'll take a step into the shower. And as you can see, I mean, obviously there's no issues whatsoever with headroom, very tall ceiling. Again, you have another max air fan in here to really get that airflow, uh, really dry everything out in a hurry. Now, the other thing I like about this, folks, this is a one piece residential style shower. So less chance for any kind of leaks. Shelves are built in there. You get the uh, kind of oil rub bronze hand wand a little bit nicer and an actual tri-slide glass uh, enclosure for the door. Some robe hooks there too, always nice to have. And this is kind of unique, but I like it. So this is a off campsite door, something that you really don't see very often, but here's why I like it. It's because if someone needs to come in and use the bathroom, granted they're gonna have to go around the back of the RV, but they can just go right around the back, come right in here, use the bathroom and head right back out. That way they're not bringing dirt in through the whole RV. I honestly think that is a great use of space. But here, here is why I say it's the best of both worlds, folks. Follow me on up and you will see the courtesy lights, but take a look at what we have up here. This is an absolute awesome hangout for kids. I mean, take a look. I don't know about your kiddos. Mine would go wild up here. They have their own loft space. You have, uh, you know, your, the blade AC, you get your second AC right here. So it's going to be nice and cool. You don't have to worry about them being too warm. Windows to let natural light in, plenty of storage, and there's a hookup for TV. So if you have some older kids, they're able to, uh, you, you know, be able to play that gaming system or whatever it is you want up here. But for the littles, you know, you can even take this, like this is what I would do if it were me. During the day, I would just move this bed over and then look at all this play space you have right here for the kids. Like, again, my kids would go absolutely wild. All right, and coming back down, we will actually step down into the bedroom. So watch your step a little bit there. Uh, but as we do come into the bedroom, uh, again, you know, I have plenty of headroom, even though I have that loft up top at six foot, I can still stand up in here without hitting my head. You have, you know, the bed right there, windows on both sides, beautiful headboard, shelves up top, which I really like that. So you're not going to elbow them or hit them with your head. Some additional storage tucked away right over here, which is really nice, as well as a spot to mount your TV on the wall. And then, of course, uh, right over on the other side is the large wardrobe. So you can see plenty of storage right over here. And just in case you need a little extra, well, you got a dresser right there at the foot. So 
let's take a look at the outside of the 2023 Keystone Montana High Country 377 FL. Right up front here is that front cap. Now that's going to be an automotive painted front cap, which is great because I mean, it's going to be easier to clean, which is what you'll want when you have a bunch of bugs that smash up against it. You also have what they patented as hitch vision. A little tough to see, but it's this mirror right here. So that way as you're backing up, it just helps you align your hitch with the kingpin. Speaking of kingpin, that is the road armor kingpin, which helps prevent bucking and chucking because you have this rotating head. So as you're starting and stopping, you're not going to get that jerking sensation. As you drop down underneath right here in the front storage compartment, you'll see quite a few great things. One of the fact is the fact that they have great cable management, something that Montana does a really good job at. Also on the other side are the lithium batteries. This one has the Dragonfly lithium batteries uh, upgraded in there. You can also see the pure sine wave inverter as well as your battery disconnects and just a ton of additional storage. So you make our way down a little bit further, of course, uh, slide outs right up top. Now, um, you know, you'll have the dual opposing slide outs in that front living room, which we saw inside, which really helped open all that up. You'll have one of your 30 pound propane tanks on this side, one on the other side. It will come with it. Uh, we are at a show setting. You can't have the uh, propane tanks in here, so that is why it is empty. When we take a look right behind that, this is your garage storage. Now, Montana actually does have uh, what they call drop frame construction, which is why the storage is so tall. In a front living room, uh, pretty much all front living room floor plans, you lose a lot of your garage storage up front, but they try to make up for it in other places, which we'll see when we head around back. But again, it is nice and tall thanks to that drop frame construction. Making our way back a little bit further yet, you get the Moride step above uh, solid step system. So because it is a fifth wheel, it has four steps on there. The treads are aluminum. You get the grip tape, foldable grab handle, makes it nice and easy to get in and out of the RV. And of course, right up top is the power awning. It's a Solera power awning with adjustable arms. It's a little tough because it's on a fifth wheel to reach, but it's six foot tall. I can still reach it to adjust it a little bit. Uh, and then of course you have the LED light strip and it doesn't matter how uh, retracted or extended the is you can still use it. Some outside speakers which are connected to that multimedia center inside. Now a couple different things. I talked about it inside but this one is four season capable. So if you're looking to camp in the winter you can do it in the high country. You also see the Sol Solar Flex 400i. So this one has that 400 meaning you have two 200 watt solar panels up on the roof for 400 watts total. The I is for the inverter because this one uh, you have a bunch of inverted outlets inside so that way especially with that uh, lithium battery you can do a great job of running almost everything in the coach off your batteries, including things that plug into the 120 outlet because they are inverted outlets. You have uh, automatic leveling, so you have six point auto level on this coach, just touch a button, it does everything else for you. G rated tires, because the last thing in the world you want is to have a blowout going down the road, so you get those upgraded uh, 14 ply tires in there. Then you also have the road armor suspension right in the center, which gives you three inches of movement, uses a rubber compound to really take a lot of the bumps and everything out of the road so you have a smoother towing experience uh, as you're traveling. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I talked about a little bit more storage in the back. This is one of two. So you can see right here all that additional storage you have. This is uh, underneath that slide out bed. So I love that. But take a look at this on the back here. It's a little tricky to get into. So not only do you have that large storage area underneath the bed in the slide out, but you also have this huge storage area right back here. So again, they try to make up for the front storage with having a bunch in the back. Of course, you have the uh, rear ladder, so you can climb up on the fully walkable roof. Backup camera prep will be up there as well. A couple things I wanna hit on this side real quick too. Uh, 50 amp detachable power cord is going to plug in there. I talked about your tank valves being insulated. One of your tank valve bodies are actually tucked away right in there. We'll have a couple others up front. But again, they have them tucked away and insulated in the body so that you're not going to have to worry about them freezing up on you in cold temps. This is that secondary entrance. What I love about this, they didn't cheap out on the steps. They gave you the same steps here on that secondary entrance that they did on the primary. And then as we make our way to the very front here, <clears throat> right up here, you will see your uh, convenience center. So all of your water connections will be here. Water heater bypass as well as easy winterization. Certainly love that. Low point drains will be located there as well. TV hookup is uh, on this side of the pass through too. And as I promised, that auto level is going to be right over here.
All right, folks, this is the 2023 Keystone Montana High Country 377 FL. As I said, it's the best of both worlds. You have the front living, you get the bunk space up top in the loft, you have a big bedroom, washer, dryer prep, everything that you need. But you might be saying, well, Ian, I love it, but it's a little bit too big. Maybe you want something a little bit smaller, a little more traditional bunk style. Well, may not be quite traditional, but I got a really unique floor plan coming up for you right now. 